A freezer at a Framingham food bank suddenly broke, putting the group's work in jeopardy. And this food bank has been busier than ever because of what's happening in Framingham. So now this resource that helps so many people needs help itself. And as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us, a greater Boston starts with answering that call. It's probably here all the way. Full of food. Full of food. A 60,000 pound capacity freezer that should be full of frozen foods. Now it's completely empty. And David Blaze is the founder of Daniel's Table, a free food resource for Framingham and Ashland families in need of assistance. The nonprofit's biggest investment, their giant outdoor freezer compressor, died three weeks ago, which left them scrambling. We salvaged as much of the proteins as we could. We were very lucky to only lose 10,000 pounds. We could have lost the whole truck. I could have lost 60,000. This compressor is gone, and so this needs to be replaced. They say a new one will cost them around $6,000. For now, their indoor freezers are packed. And volunteers in the kitchen are working feverishly. These meals are to help feed the 135 Haitian refugees in Framingham staying at the Red Roof Inn in Motel 6. Daniel's Table has been feeding families in Framingham and Ashland for the past 10 years. And this freezer is vital to their operations. And it couldn't have crashed in a more critical time as they're feeding more and more families and asylum seekers every day. Every single dollar counts, so we need help restocking that freezer. And with the current refugee crisis we're facing, we're adding an additional six meals every weekend for 135 people, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the freezer could not have died at a more inopportune time. Here they offer a community freezer program along with Daniel's Farmer's Market, providing immediate response to hunger. But an empty dark freezer stifles a big part of their mission. It's the heart of what we do. It stresses every other part of our organization. We need to get that up and running. The capacity that we had has been lost. At a time when the need has never been greater. In Framingham, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. If anything, we have seen time and time again that when one of these groups is in need, yeah. people answer that call, and, and they will in this case, too. And I bet after they see this story, there'll be more people stepping forward, which is great. No question. Well, we